ScreenRick is a free and easy to use screen recorder that features no time limits, no watermarks, saves videos in MP format, records webcam, and allows online sharing of your videos. In this review, we will look at the pros and cons of ScreenRec. Should ScreenRec be the screen recorder for you? Maybe this overview will help you decide that for yourself. Hi, Dennis Ray here. Please don't forget to like, comment, and hit the subscribe button below. Okay, thank you. This is the interface for ScreenRec. The first thing I recommend doing is to hit this bar, sign up for a free account. And there are some important advantages to having an account that make it worth it. You will be asked for an email address, and that will be your username. Uh, you won't get any spam email. I haven't so far. And you'll be asked to create a password. When you have an account and you're logged in, you will have no time limits on recordings otherwise it's five minutes, you can share your videos, record in high definition, you won't have a watermark, and it's still free. Now the website says it's free forever, but this little note, free grace period, raises a question about that. But at least it's free for now until the developers change their minds. We said screen rec is easy to use, and this is why. It doesn't have very many settings. These are it, uh, microphone input device, where you can select which microphone you want to use if you have more than one. If you have more than one camera, you can make your selection there. Record system audio, off or on. Recording quality, a standard definition or high definition. You can make a shortcut or use the default Alt plus S. Instant share link, if you can just leave this on off, it'll make it easier to download your video. And use proxy server, it's better just to leave that off. On the side, we have a toolbar, and this could be moved to the top of your screen, to the bottom, or on the side, wherever you want it. It can be pinned or unpinned. And back again. This button is to take screenshots and yes, this is a great, great screenshot app that allows you to add annotations, uh, re rectangles, arrows, even text to the image. This button allows you to start and stop the video recording. This button allows you access to the cloud where your videos are saved automatically and this button allows you access to the interface. Dennis, can you show us how to do a recording with ScreenRec? Why, certainly. I turned off the webcam. I recorded the intro to this video using ScreenRec uh, with my eMeet C960 webcam. I did a review of the eMeet C960 not long ago and I'll put a link for it in the description below. To start a recording, you go to the toolbar, hit the icon that looks like a video camera. When you do that, you'll get this cross, and you use this to select the portion of your screen that you want to record. Now, in my case, I want to record full screen, so I start from one corner and move it to the other corner. And as soon as you let go, it starts recording. The recording has started. The interface will stay in the screen unless you minimize it beforehand. Uh, one thing Screen Rec does not have is a cursor highlighter, but no problem. There are three great free cursor highlighters available, and I did videos about them. I'll put links in the description below. And we'll stop the recording now. Now, if we go to our account library, by clicking the recording history icon in the toolbar, there's our video where it was saved automatically. This is the window that will pop up when you finish recording a video. And here you can preview the video. You can share it. 
You can download it or you can delete it. Or in the library, you can preview it, share it, or delete it too. Screen Rec does not have a watermark when you use it within an account. However, it does leave a gray mark on the screen, but you know, I don't see it as a deal breaker. I should add, the gray mark is only visible in full screen recording, not in partial screen. This is the properties of the recording we did with Screen Rec. If we look at the details, we can see it recorded at just about 25 frames per second. Normally, it's preferable to record at about 30 frames per second for regular recordings or 60 frames per second for game recordings. Well, Screen Rec would not work at all for game recording. It would be nice to have a setting to control the FPS rate, but at looking at the recording at cursor movements or movements in the webcam recordings, the FPS rate set in Screen Rec seems to work just fine. This is the Screen Rec website. Of course, there's plenty of information about the program uh, and plenty of download links. Some information you can read. And you can use Screen Rec with Windows or Linux or Mac. Here's another website, and I'll put links for these websites in the description below. Uh, plenty of information on this website too, even a video you can watch. Same information there. System requirements. And download links. That was Screen Rec, a really excellent and easy to use screen recorder program. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. See you.